Meet GH and IGF-1, growth hormone and insulin-like growth factor 1. Everyone has these two hormones, which are normally under control. However, for those who are living with the rare disease acromegaly, GH and IGF-1 easily can become uncontrolled. Acromegaly is a rare hormonal disorder caused by a non-cancerous tumor on the pituitary gland, which causes GH and IGF-1 to get out of control. Some of the typical symptoms include headaches, enlargement of forehead, jaw, hands and feet, excessive sweating, and high blood glucose levels. It can take years for patients to become aware of their uncontrolled GH and IGF-1 levels. And once diagnosed, patients need to regularly monitor these two hormones to ensure they are on their best behavior. I had never heard of GH and IGF-1 levels prior to my diagnosis, but now I think about them regularly, hoping they are in check. Fortunately, I was able to work with my doctor to develop a game plan that allows me to keep an eye on my hormones and be sure they stay controlled. Following diagnosis, patients work with their doctors to develop treatment plans personalized to their individual needs, which may include surgery to remove the pituitary tumor or medication to keep the disease controlled. However, acromegaly can often become uncontrolled. After surgery and or medical treatment, GH and IGF-1 are reduced but can still find ways to sneak back and impact a patient's life, especially if the tumor was not fully removed or returns. At first I had no idea what to look out for when monitoring for signs of recurrence. I knew that frequent urination and thirst are symptoms of diabetes, but I didn't know how to identify the symptoms of uncontrolled hormones in acromegaly. People living with acromegaly should be on the lookout for key symptoms, such as excessive sweating, headaches, and fatigue, which can be a sign of inadequately controlled disease. Patients experiencing these symptoms should talk to their doctor as soon as they can to get their hormone levels checked and ensure their acromegaly is under control. There was a time I was sweating so much, I felt like it was really restricting what I was able to do. Just to leave the house, I was bringing an extra shirt with me because I knew I would need to change. I eventually realized, okay, this isn't normal. I need to talk with my doctor. It's crucial for patients to pay attention to their bodies and have their GH and IGF-1 levels regularly checked to ensure their treatment plan is working effectively. Don't ignore any symptoms, which may indicate that the disease is not properly controlled. You know your body best. If something feels off, make sure you check with your doctor to ensure everything is still on track. For more information and resources for people living with this disease in the U.S., visit www.acromegalyinfo.com.